here's the removal for the lower, the heavy rubber shift boot that's accessible from inside the car. So what I did was I actually, I did find it important to loosen the frame. The frame is, there's two screws here. I actually didn't take them out because I don't want to have issues with aligning the clip pin or maybe having the clip or the speed nut drop. So I left these in, but I broke them loose, but I did remove, there's three bolts on the face. There's some, I did re loosen this. I don't think I needed to, but I did. Um, then there's four bolts inside the base, a couple around. I just took out every single screw that I could. I got this loose. So here's how this is on here. This is not held in with a zip tie. It was actually glued in. Um, there was some resistance. I, I, I just broke this free, but there was some, re I did have, have to pry it, it's sticky. The reason you remove the kick panel is so you can get access to this rubber tab here. As you can see, I broke it loose. I, I have enough play in my console frame to manipulate this. My plate is still on here, but I did remove I did remove the four acorn nuts. There's four acorn nuts. I kept the plate on the boot. I'm gonna remove it all as one assembly. So as you can see, it's that simple. If you're tugging on this and it doesn't seem like it wants to move, it's held in with some type of a glue or sticky component or something. And this tab is underneath the console frame and I would suggest I think the right thing to do is to remove the kick panel you have easy access um, I do have a video on removing the kick panel so guys that's the uh, process for removing the lower boot